Has the president ever disavowed his campaign statements? Has he ever stood up and said, I said before I wanted to ban all members of the Islamic faith from entering the United States of America. I was wrong. I've consulted with lawyers. The, uh, I'm now addressing it simply to security needs. Has he ever said anything approaching that? Yes, Judge Hawkins, he has said several things approaching that, and I think it's detailed in various amicus briefs. The best one is probably the Southeastern Legal Foundation brief in part three walks through the comments and shows that over time, the president clarified that what he was talking about were Islamic terrorist groups and the countries that shelter or sponsor them. You asked my friend, Mr. Wall, has the president ever disavowed all of these statements? And it, I thought his answer was surprising because he couldn't actually point to you any disavowal. He just cited en masse amicus briefs because the truth is there is no such statement. We give you chapter and verse, the things the president has said, the district court gave them to you as well. They're both pre and post inauguration. There's not just one. Our constitution and laws are better than this. Our founders wanted America to be a beacon on our coast. And that beacon at the end of the day is not the quality of our sports teams or the quality of our soil. That beacon ultimately is the majestic article three and the grand contours of the first amendment. We ask that the district court's ruling in joining this unconstitutional and un-American executive order be affirmed. Yes, we did say to the Fourth Circuit last week that the precedent set by this case for the judiciary's role in reviewing the president's national security and immigration authority will long transcend this debate, this order, and this constitutional moment. Counsel is right that this country is a beacon, but what makes it a beacon is the rule of law. Under the settled legal rules for justiciability, constitutional and statutory interpretation, and injunctive relief, what the president did here falls squarely within his constitutional and statutory authority.